So one time I bought completely fake Rangers tickets. It was Rangers lightning playoff. And I was coming back with my friends from a Broadway show trying to go to Penn Station and then got intercepted by one of the guys who were, who's like selling outside of the stadium. And he goes, here's a ticket for $200. And I was like, absolutely not. So then we we keep moving around. And then the next guy offers it for 150. And I go, oh, nobody. And then the next guy offers it for like 100. And then I'm like, if I keep walking down, maybe I'll get a, an even better <laughs> one. Think- so then I walked back to the middle and said, hey, the guy offer there just o- offered me ones for 80, even though he had offered me for 100. What are you willing to do for me? That guy came down to 60. So then I walked to the next guy and I said, that guy just offered me for 50. What are you going to do for me? That guy offered for 30. I don't know why I still thought this was a good idea. <laughs> and- if I said to you, Jones, I'm going to sell you a TV for a thousand. And you were like, can I buy it for $5? And I said, sure. <laughs> Would that not be a warning sign? I thought I was the master of negotiation there. They were also, now that I realize it, they were all tickets in the same section, and I think they were the same ticket over and over again. Yeah, that, at all the is, different this guys. Is, that... This was a poor lapse in, in judgment. I can't lie to you. <laughs>